Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Keshwani. We are here because we want to improve our English. We want to improve our vocabulary. Today is our lesson number 51, day 51. Let's see what we have for today. Right here, vocab dash day 51. That's the tag you want to use if you if you're looking for any particular day. The very first word that we that we have today is load. What does it mean to load? It's a verb. What does it mean to load? It means to to praise someone. To praise. To glorify. To say nice things about someone or something to load the adjective would be load loadable something loadable Something loadable is something that is praiseworthy, something that deserves praising, that deserves praise, that deserves glorification. Something that deserves something or someone. I'm not going to write it down. Something or someone that deserves praise. Something that is deserving of praise is said to be loadable. There was a laudable deed that you did, that was a laudable thing that you did, that was praiseworthy, that was commendable. Oh, there is a good word. We'll come to that in a second. Let's put it here before we forget it. Commend. Praiseworthy. It is deserving, it's deserving of praise. Deserving of Approbation. That's a good word. Approbation. Let's learn that word, shall we? Approbation is our next word. Approbation is a noun. It, it just simply means praise. It means commendation. That's where this word comes from. To commend somebody. It's not a command, it's commend. C O M M E N D. Commend somebody means to praise. And from the word command, we have the noun. Commendation. Praise, the noun of praise is just praise. Praise is a verb and a noun. But commend, to commend someone means to praise someone. And if you're praising somebody, if you're commending somebody, you're giving them a commendation, an approbation. And of course, you would give an approbation something that is laudable, something that is praiseworthy. Approbation means also an of uh, uh, not only just the praise or commendation, but also in the official capacity, an official or formal approval. You would use this word in the context where an approbation is something that goes in your file, your permanent personnel file. If you did something good and uh, the management wants to praise you, wants to rec recognize your, your deed, they will give you they will uh, give you an approbation and it will be an official uh, official uh, sort of a deal. It will it'll be, it'll be formal, it will go in your file and so forth. Let's learn one more word which means the same thing. Where can we put it? Should I try to squeeze in there or should, I, should we 
Since we started this word, why don't we finish more talking about this word, command. Boy, this red marker is not good. I, I have a hell of a time erasing it. The word was command. Let's learn it first. C-O-M-M-E-N-D and it's pronounced C-O-M-M-E-N-D It's a word which means to praise as I said before to express approval of someone or something to express approval of someone or something to commend and noun will be commendation as I told you before this is a noun of the same word same word I need the room I'm running out of room so I need to erase something what should I erase let's raise the top part here the word was Lord Lord to praise to glorify to say good things about something And one would load something that is, of course, loadable. The next word we want to learn is extol, which is spelled with one T, and some people prefer to spell it with, or rather one L, and some people prefer to spell it with two L's. They are both considered uh, proper spelling. And I just mispronounced the word, so I'm going to pronounce it correctly, which is why I always make a point of writing the pronunciation. As I told you many, many a times, that being a non-native speaker, I've learned the hard way that you cannot go by just how the word looks, which is why I make a point of writing the pronunciation each time. And even then, sometimes I manage to muck it up. But the word was, it's not X, it's not, it doesn't start with a sound of X, but rather is extol, ik. Extol, it just means to praise lavishly, to, to extol someone means not just to praise, just not an ordinary praise, but to praise quite a lot, lavishly, and such, a, such, a, such an action will, will be called extol. And finally, I have this one last word. I don't know why I put it, put it in my list, but since I have it, we have to cover it. Let's go on then. The last word we're going to learn today, which also has to do with praising. All the words today have to do with praising, saying good things about people. And the word is... Eulogize. You love. Notice it's you eulogize, le, not lo. You don't say eulogize, it's eulogize, eulogize, le. Eulogize means simply to, again, it means to praise someone, to praise someone, especially in a form of a speech. You stand up at, a, uh, at the lectern and you praise somebody, to deliver a speech, praising somebody. A formal praise in the form of a speech is called eulogize. In that context, load or extol would probably not work. The pro more, pro more, more proper wor word would be in that context. The more proper word would be extol, oh sorry, eulogize. To eulogize means to praise someone, as I told you before, they all mean to praise someone, uh, but to praise someone in the formal setting of a speech. That was it. That's all I had for today. I will see you tomorrow on day number 52. As I said before, if you've been watching my other videos, today is the day 51. Obviously, there are 50 videos out there already. And if you watch them systematically, the idea is to learn a few new words every day, gradually, little by little you will see an improvement in your vocabulary. That's the way to do it. But don't try to sit there, as I've told you many a times, don't try to sit there 
and to uh, devour the dictionary, it doesn't work that way. It just, just, it doesn't work that way. I've seen many a times people sit there uh, with a with a list of hundred words, of two hundred words, and just memorize. You learn them, you memorize them, but then you'll forget them two weeks later. Learn few of them at a time, a few few words a, a day, and, but make a habit of doing it on a regular, consistent basis. Uh, have discipline. So, in other words, don't sit, don't sit. Uh, a month before the exam or two weeks before the exam and try to memorize these all of these words in one shot. Start the process early in, the, in much earlier. And not just for the exam, but just to improve your vocabulary. Anyway, enough of the talk. If you wish to get hold of me for personal private tutoring, I tutor for GRE, GMAT, SAT, TOEFL, and I also do tutoring for algebra, geometry, statistics, what have you. You can go to any of these website addresses and send me an email. Address, email. Or you can go to kashwaniprep.com and you can get a, get hold of me from there as well. Right. Thank you.